Ramadan is actually not supposed to be a time where you're not productive in everything else. Like you're supposed to be as fruitful, as productive in, at your work and with business and education and everything else. It's not a time for vacation. Hmm. You know, for in, in some Muslim countries, for example, people stay up until like Fajr almost and then pass out until like 4 p.m. Just in time for iftar and start all over again. They become like creatures of the night or something because that's what Ramadan is supposed to be. That's silly. Mm. That's not the point of this month. Mm. Um, as a matter of fact, the the nightly prayers mm. they are just really a manifestation of the hajjud, wow. right? That's what they are. Mm-hmm. So if you're not, if you're if you're a person and lots of Muslims, of course, they have a struggle even with the five prayers. But if you're praying your five prayers. But you're not good at the Hajjad. Mm-hmm. This is the month to get into it. Mm-hmm. This is the Waratil Quran Tartila, the even the ayah of reciting the Quran in slow rhythmic tone is an ayah about the night prayer, mm-hmm. right? And Taraweeh is actually supposed to be this exercise for the night prayer. So even if you don't catch the Taraweeh, but you actually get up for the Hajjad, mm-hmm. that's even better for you. You know, that's even better for you. So mm-hmm. like we have to change, shift our mentality about um, how we make the most use of Ramadan. The other recommendation I very strongly have for people is if you didn't catch the Taraweeh prayers at night, but you went to pray Aisha in a few rakahs at the masjid, and then you came back for Fajr at the masjid, mm-hmm. that's way better for you than staying up, staying up until midnight doing Taraweeh and then mm-hmm. barely catching Fajr or not coming to the masjid for Fajr. So you have to be realistic with yourself, right? Mm-hmm. What is a b- bigger priority? I mean, the, the Prophet Sallallahu instructions are true and we should believe in them. If you catch the prayer in the masjid at, at Aisha and then at Fajr, it's as though you prayed the entire night. Mm-hmm. So that's his promise, right? So let's believe in that promise and mm-hmm. especially get into that habit in this month. I personally believe, you know, in my personal life and you know, my friends and people, students, I recommend if you can make a habit out of Fajr and Isha at the masjid, then you're just going to have a productive life. Allah Sorry. is going to put some barakah in your life throughout your day, throughout your night. Uh, a lot of good comes of it. And then this is the month to get into that habit because you're going to go anyway. Mm-hmm. But don't overdo it in a way that you just totally can't sustain it after it's done, right? Mm-hmm. You want to use this month as an opportunity to instill habits in your life that you can sustain after this month is over. 